And we now know the gunman accused of killing an innocent mother in front of her two children are just 16 and 17 oh, yeah, years we did. old. Yeah, yeah. And according to investigators, Aisha Goff died while protecting her kids from bullets. Look how bored he looks, man. This yeah. guy looks so bored. Like, oh, man. Larry, up and give me my bonds. I can go home and get some sleep. Like, yo, look at how bored. Right. If I was a judge, anyway. man, I would I would yeah. send this in the fucking get skin skin him to death. I'd be like, you you're sentenced to being skinned to death just for just because he looking bored and shit. He looking like oh man. Uh, yeah. I think he got some flip-flops on too. Mm. Man, 17 man, years old. Maybe he didn't get good sleep. To invest- Investigators yeah. Aisha Goff died yeah, while protecting her song. kids from bullets just over a month ago. And new tonight, her godmother telling ABC 13's Jessica Willie the arrests come with mixed emotions. Jessica. Yeah, one of the accused killers, just three years older than the victim's son who witnessed the murder. Aisha Goff's family relieved that HPD made these arrests, but saddened by the young ages of the suspects. Why would somebody do this to her and in front of her two kids? Even a month later, the circumstances surrounding Aisha Goff's murder are puzzling and arrests shed no more light. We have no idea why uh, this was done. Um, She did not know her assailants. Mr. Blanks, you are charged with the first degree felony offense of murder. 17 year old Leishan Blanks appearing in court this afternoon is now. Uh oh, he's good. Murder. You lucky According bastard. You got this fucking mammy judge. You fucking lucked out, man. We we see so many sister judges. It's incredible. I had no idea. Yeah, I, I see why they put one on the Supreme Court. Like, it was like, God damn, we gotta, we gotta fucking represent, man. Sister judges are everywhere, man. That shit is that is, you know what? That is crazy, man. Like I think they're overrepresented. Is there? Do they talk about that? Like, do they talk about the fields they're overrepresented in? Sisters, do y'all going to talk about that? You're overrepresented in judges. It's too many of y'all. It should not be this many black women judges. Compared to your population, it's ridiculous, man. You, you vote, you vote judges in there, don't you? We, we don't hear they're appointed here. Yeah, and now she, this kid's gonna get a break because he lucked up and got a mammy judge. Leishan Blanks appearing in court this afternoon is now charged with murder. According to Houston police, he and a 16-year-old juvenile accomplice fired upon Goff's car at this West Houston intersection on February 23rd. The mother and two of her children, ages 13 and three, heading home. Her 13-year-old told family she shielded him from the bullets. Yeah, she was very outgoing. She um, she was lovable. Um, she just, you know, lit up a room. Gladys Pratt Seahorn is Goff's godmother and a local pastor. The 37-year-old wife, mother of three, and health care worker was a vocalist in her church. She says news of the arrests, teenagers is bittersweet. I'm happy that justice has, you know, is prevailing, but it saddens me to know that these are teenagers. According to the Harris County District Attorney's Office, the juvenile offender homicide rate has increased by 76% since 2021. Wow. They got the memo that, you know, you can like do anything and get out the next day. And then also you have a court date like two, three years down the line. And within that time, they'll probably toss the case out. They got the memo. His office, the juvenile offender homicide rate has increased by 76% since 2021. Police have not released a motive, but we do know from court records that Blanks was under supervision for a prior felony at the time of the deadly shooting. <laughs> Tonight, he's being held in jail on a $150,000 bond. Oh, he got a hundred. She, this fucking winch gave a kid who was on out on bond for a felony and killed a woman in cold blood, she gave him a hundred fifty thousand dollar bond in Houston, where he yeah. can pay the bail bondsman a portion of that. 
Yeah. Uh, you you ever seen a, like a boxing match, right, where the referee, where the guy's getting rocked and the referee's not stopping it. He's letting him, you know, give him a chance. Right. And, and you're like, wow, this ref got balls. He's not stopping. He's giving up. Some referees jump on it. They stop it immediately. Yeah, they stop these, it too early. Too early, right. These these sessions are like, they, they're letting them go. They're yeah. letting them swing. The, society's getting rocked. Society's on the ropes. It's and like is, um, Arturo Gotti and Mickey Ward and shit. And the, and the sister referee is like, just letting, them, let, letting the, these, and these clowns just tee off on fucking society. Yeah. Like Aaron Pryor and Alexia Aguero, man. They just in the ring, just slugging it out. The ref won't stop it. Shit. Unbelievable, man. Slight, slight correction. The juvenile offender homicide rate has increased by 70. It's not, it's not crises, it's crises. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. This is sad, man. This woman and this kid's gonna be out soon. Cause one hundred fifty thousand dollar bond is fifteen thousand dollars. Um, pay the bail bondsman. Um, a payment plan. Be, get a bail bondsman a thousand dollars. Promise to give him the rest later. And you out in Houston? In Houston. A lot of y'all don't under, don't know that in Houston, they, 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 you can you you get a bail bondsman on a payment plan. Well, that is, isn't Houston, isn't isn't murder capital in Houston? No, nah, Houston is Houston is um bad, but it's not like New Orleans or nothing like that for a capital. No, but, no, but it's like, like a death penalty there, haven't they? Huh? They got a death penalty, Texas, isn't it? Oh, they do. Yeah. Um, I didn't know that, but um, yeah, yeah. They don't, no, execute, I, they don't execute many people, but there is capital, capital murder there. I, I love the story you said a while ago, Ag, how uh, back in the day, you know, you did something like serious and you came home, they thought you snitched. They're like, man, this motherfucker's telling. Yeah, now, exactly. <laughs> now you coming home and they know what the deal. Yeah, at least that's good, though. At least dudes, because a lot of dudes got you know, had a rough time with snitch allegations that they Erroneous snitch allegations. At least that doesn't happen anymore. Um, for that, uh, I want to show you something. You Thank you so much for joining us. We begin here tonight at nine with the FBI agents raiding a bell bonding company in Houston. A company that was known for charging less than 10% of the bond amount and even offering payment plans. Fox 26 is ran. <laughs> okay. So by giving that kid a bond, any bond, that kid who was out on the bond for a violent felony at the time he killed that woman in a fucking brazen gangland style murder at an intersection by giving him any bond that black bald headed judge ensures that he'll be on the streets because in Houston you can give the bail bondsman a payment plan Whereas in like in DC, well, I mean not DC, but in Virginia and Maryland, around or in Pennsylvania, you get a bond, hundred fifty thousand dollar bond. You have to come up with fifteen thousand dollars to get out. In Houston, right. you can come up with five hundred, and the guys, all right, just make sure you give me the other fourteen fifty. I mean fourteen thousand five hundred. Um, by this time, yada yada yada. System Thank you so much wrong. for joining us. We begin here tonight at nine with the FBI agents raiding a bell bonding company in Houston. A company that was known for charging less than 10% of the bond amount and even offering payment plans. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live after digging into this all day. So, Randy, what's going on? Well, Caitlin, bail bonding companies owned by the Maharib family first came under scrutiny at Harris County Commissioner's Court last February. It was for charging much less than the 10% of the bond amount and even offering payment plans. FBI agents and members of the Texas Anti-Gang Task Force spent hours at Able Bail Bonds at 1620 Austin Street. Boxes and boxes of files were placed in an 18-wheeler. The FBI will say nothing more than confirming an ongoing investigation. 
This bail bonding company and others owned by the Maharab family are known in the industry for bonding out high risk offenders. Uh, high risk meaning that uh, there's usually not any collateral. Uh, usually the, the co-signers are not credit worthy. Um, it's less money put down. Um, there's not a great support system with family or friends. Last winter, Harris County Commissioner's Court looked into requiring all bonding companies in Harris County to require 10% of the bond amount. That's when bonding companies owned by the Mahareb family first came under scrutiny. They have posted bonds for a headline grabbing criminals like 35-year-old Gerald Wayne Williams. He was able to post a $350,000 bond after being charged with murder in the shooting death of 17-year-old David Castro. Most likely they didn't. You remember this story. This is the story where they, yeah, were at the, they went to the, the Houston game and, and, and he was and him and his dad were leaving the game in the pickup truck and he was in the back of the pickup truck. And like, I guess his dad was driving too slow or didn't move because you know how to, out after the game it's like gridlock out there so the guy they got mad and just shot him. just just killed just shot his son in cold blood and, and, and it's like yo that guy gets to just walk out of prison <laughs> like the next day he went on the run for a while but when he got caught like several months later but after he got caught he walked out of prison the next day he looks like a bad dude. Yeah, he had already done 12 years in jail um, prior for something else. For nothing yeah. prior to something. This is the kind of case, I where you wish it was true that the cops were just gunning these dudes down. Really I nearly. know. If only it was like that, man. Like 35-year-old Gerald Wayne Williams, he was able to post a $350,000 bond after being charged with murder and the shooting death of 17-year-old David Castro. Most likely they did not come anywhere near paying the $35,000 it was traditionally paid, which is 10%. It was probably more like 2%. So this company, um, and uh, in particular, the woman who owns it, uh, Sheba Murib, uh, her signature is on the line that put my son. Like this guy ended up getting like a life sentence. He got like a thousand years, right? Think about it. Think about how many dudes are on the streets just living knowing that like in like three months or six months i'm gonna get 40 years you got violent sun men on the street knowing in a few months they're gonna go to court and get 50 years that's a dangerous person that's a person who is living in the moment who doesn't care who's thinking this is how some men think. Oh, shit, I'm already fried. I might as well shoot anybody who look at me wrong. Or well, I might as well spin the block on my ops. It doesn't matter. I already got 50 years coming my way. You know what I'm saying? It's dangerous, yeah. man. You got you to keep these dudes it's locked a ticking, up. They're, they're taking time bombs. Yeah. They, they don't <laughs> understand how some men think. They understand how some men think. Some men don't think like, uh, oh, let me be on my best behavior and maybe something good will happen. Nah, some men like shit. I'm already fucked, man. They got the shit on camera. Like this, this case, they had this shit on camera. So it's like they already got the shit on camera, man. I'm I'm fucked, man. I might as well shoot everything, man. Nigga, a nigga, a nigga breathe wrong when I'm blowing his head off. Nah, man, I'm going to jail forever anyway. was able to post a $350,000 bond after being charged with murder and the shooting death of 17-year-old David Castro. Most likely they did not come anywhere near paying the $35,000 it was traditionally paid, which is 10%. It was probably more like 2%. So this company, um, and uh, in particular, the woman who owns it, uh, Sheba Murib, uh, her signature is on the line that put my son's accused killer back on the street. The Mahara family also posted 30-year-old Dion Lede's bond. He had seven prior felony convictions. Lede killed HPD officer William Jeffrey and lost his own life in that gun battle last fall. Paul Castro was glad to see all the police activity at Abel Bell Bonds. Is it surprising? Uh, no and yes. It's yes that something's finally being done. Uh, that company 
is putting dangerous people back on the street and has done it at a discount rate for years. Pro Maxism. Again, the <laughs> yeah, man, I just wanted to show you how it is in Houston, man. Like, so by giving that kid a bond, by not saying no bond, she guarantees that he'll be back on the street. Um, Unbelievable. The system is paying.